and I'm Geetha Gramuthi. You're watching Impact here at the BBC. Coming up in 15 minutes, we've got all the business. Rachel, what have you got for us? I know the shops are quite busy, aren't they, today? You're right. It's a Black Friday, of course. That tradition which started in America but really has gone global. Now, in America this weekend, it's expected that 164 million Americans, that's more than two-thirds of the country's population, are going to be spending for Black Friday. And really for retailers, this is such a huge event. In America, um, it's expected online spend is going to reach $100 billion for the first time. Uh, for retailers, 30 to 40% of their annual sales come between Black Friday and Christmas. So it's, it's really crucial. And in the UK, you know, we've had it here for a couple of years. Uh, it's expected that today shoppers in the UK are going to spend the equivalent of $2.4 million per minute on Black Friday. Per minute, my goodness. Is, is it changing a little bit? It feels like it's extended itself. You're absolutely right. As I said, it came from the States. It's been in the UK for about five years, but it's no longer just the day. I mean, I don't know about you, but I've had emails in my inbox for at least a week, yeah. uh, and it seems to, to bleed on. All. Yes, me too. I'm trying hard. <laughs> you know, it goes on into Cyber Monday on Monday, and then it seems to continue all the way to Christmas. And, and really, as consumers, we are so used now to getting a good deal. If we go online, we want free delivery. 10% off is no longer good enough. We want 20 percent off and uh, for retailers they really need uh, to continue to attract our attention and grab us in and we're becoming much more demanding uh, now from one expensive event to another <laughs> we're going from black friday to weddings Weddings are really expensive. Absolutely. The average American couple spends $35,000 on a wedding. Uh, so we're going to be in Try the Indian numbers. That will be, be dwarfed by that. Uh, okay, well, maybe they could be interested <laughs> in this because we've got uh, one entrepreneur here in the UK who's basically set up like a wedding department store. Forget about your temporary wedding fairs that you might visit at the weekend. This is a permanent uh, place where they've got everything from bouquets to bridesmaids' dresses, and they're going to sort it all out for you in one place. We'll be looking at how that could work. Oh, my goodness. I'm so glad I don't have to think about that anymore. <laughs> Me too. It was fun at the time. <laughs> Rachel, thanks very much.